Welcome to our It's Electra series. In this series, we're going to share with you gear based on and inspired by the Electra distortion circuit. Join us on this journey where we get the most tone out of the least circuit. Today, we're looking at the Chula by Love Pedal. And the beard's gonna tell you why are we looking at this pedal. So the Electro Distortion series, Love Pedal makes a lot of pedals based on this. Uh, and when we started this series, I wanted to talk to it. We thought it'd be nice to talk to a player, somebody that's right. kind of known for using the circuit and Josh Smith came to mind. He's made the Chula famous right. um, because he is such a wonderful guitar player. Um, you're going to see him Wednesday night, aren't you? Yes, he's um, with Joe Bonamassa. <laughs> to take like a half hour and sit down and talk to us and explain how he got from well how he fell in love first of all with this circuit and it wasn't through this pedal this pedal came later and so we're gonna let him tell you about that but at the time when i found the cot 50 i was much more of a normal overdrive guy back then like tube screamers and you know regular mid-range heavy you know a more affected sound and I started to kind of change my my vibe towards clarity and less compression things. And I met Sean from Love Pedal probably 2004, so we're talking 17 years ago now. And um, he sent me an overdrive first, an Eternity overdrive, which is a more tube screamery based thing. And then he sent me the COT50, and I was just like shocked when I plugged this thing in because it reminded me of the Super Hard On, but it had more gain. But it didn't, it didn't like take over your tone. It like kept the tone of the guitar that you plugged into it very recognizable as that guitar. Uh, and I'd also never played a pedal that was as dynamic, you know, where literally if I played lightly or rolled my volume down, it would sound like it wasn't even on. And if I hit hard, it would sound like I had enough gain to get my thing going on. And that was really inspiring to find something that did that really kind of for the first time. And it works different for everybody, of course. It's dependent on the guitar, the pickups. So it was a perfect storm for me with my Telecaster and the heavy strings. It somehow put out the right amount of output that made it like super dynamic with this pedal. So I started using it literally all the time. I couldn't be without this pedal. And I was always setting it just below half uh, on the, you know, the control, which is biased just below noon. and Every now and then I'd turn it up for different things or for sessions. And I realized, man, I want to have two of these. One set just below half that's like my all the time on thing and one set at somewhere else. And that's kind of where the Chula idea started. So we found, we found that super interesting. Right. I remember seeing the COT50 on musicstoys.com years ago. <laughs> right. and really wanted to try that pedal out. 
But then, obviously, the next question would be, well, how did you get from wanting to have two cot 50s to the Chula? And then how does the Chula actually, how's it set up to meet his needs? Well, yeah, so then I called Sean and I said, hey, would it be possible to make two of these in one box? And you could just ditch the knob for the first one, preset it just below half. I know that's what I want. Um, and then make the second half switch just to have a knob. And then I thought, well, you know what would also be cool is if we limit the range of the knob, because I won't need to go below just below half. So let's make it go just from half to full. So, so you know, no matter where you set the knob on the second side, it's a little bit more gain than the, not, than the preset side. Um, so that's what we did. And, yeah, I mean, I've, I literally have not played a gig without it in almost 15 years, I guess, since, it, since we made it. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's indispensable. So we really appreciate Josh taking the time to like sit down and talk with us. It was about a 30 minute conversation with him. It was fascinating. Um, we covered some other stuff. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, and in fact, we are, we're just starting to post all those interviews we did for the Electra series onto our YouTube members page and just posted the one with Josh Smith today. So it's out there if you're interested. Um, so let's jump into the Chula. I mean, he kind of broke it down, right? Got two foot switches and a knob. So why don't you do a clean tone and then we'll right. kick on and hear the first side. Hot Rod Telly. We don't remember the year. We're not taking the neck off. Tyler JT22, a little bit of reverb. Dispatch Master, because I like, I like that. So like, there's the delay and here's the clean sound. Uh... Ready? Mm. Stop right there. I mean, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> no knobs to turn. And, and so what he said in the video is that would be like a cot 50 set just below half. Mm -hmm. So if I roll that all the way down and we click to that side, you shouldn't hear much of a change because it should start with that one left off. And then we just get more. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so I just did that because I think no, it's good. You yeah. know, your ear just gets used to more and more and more, and just to see the difference. And honestly, I I found the sweet spot to be somewhere before you get it pegged, but not um maybe not as much volume boost as I thought it would be. Yeah, it is just definitely more gain, more drive. I mean, it feel like it got a little louder, but more right. drive. Um, and I was actually surprised when I clicked on the button with it all the way down. I thought there would be like a pop or something. Right, it was pretty seamless. Yeah, so. Very cool. That's the pedal. Mm -hmm. So in each one of these series, we've been doing uh, just a little test. We have our two gear pedals. We have the light speed and we have the tomahawk. And we've been turning on the light speed, then hitting on the chula after it. And then turning on the tomahawk and hitting the chula into it. Um, just to see how they it plays with other pedals. <laughs> so we're going to have chula off. I guess you're going to start playing. I'll turn on light speed, turn the tool on, both right. off. Give me the drum. Right.
That pushes that tile really nicely. Mm -hmm. Makes it sound like a stack back there. Um, yeah. And I might not have been playing the best big open, maybe some tight stuff, but we're going to get to a little bit more. No, I really liked What's I that? liked it. I did too. And uh, some of the other electro pedals that we've put in the middle here, I didn't like this pairing as much. I liked this and some of the other ones. With this one, these two together, I think are great. You know what? I thought the same thing. We clicked on the tomahawk. I thought it sounded mm -hmm. really good. The tomahawk and the and the the, the cot fifty side were great. And I might change that a little bit. Dial back a little. Yeah, bit. so it's not quite as wooly, quite as flubby, but it's huge. And the tomahawk's kind of based on a should be based on the tweed amp, so mm -hmm. it has that kind of like already like <laughs> flubbiness built right, into it or right. something that. I haven't come up with a good word to describe what I think the, the tweed pedal sound like, but anyway. Uh, so the only other thing that we've been doing when we do each of the Electra series is talk about how it reacts with the volume knob. Mm -hmm. And so... That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm new to the volume knob. I thought you just like set it on 10 and snapped it off and just <laughs> let, it, let it go. So I've been playing those couple chords and then you've been clicking that on. And yeah. And I roll it back and... We'll see how it... Just the chula by itself first? Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, we don't need Both that. sides and then, yeah. Let's just yeah. try that. Trying to over exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> right. It was funny. Uh, the off camera discussion was what pickup do you have the guitar in? Because it sounds really dark. And he's like, well, that's because I haven't turned the chula on yet <laughs> and dialed the volume back. Because it brings a, a top end to it that gets almost like single coily. Yeah. If we do just the, and have this side on. Okay. If we do just, um, if I remember. <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering the order of four chords uh, <laughs> that we've been using in every episode for the last month. It's really interesting. I, these pedals do that really well. Yeah. It almost has me playing with my volume knob. Um, but it's surprising when you turn on something that pushes. A lot of times you think it just gets noisy or it gets unpleasant. These bring out the best in the pickups. Every guitar we've ever played with these, the guitar sounds better. Well, it's... it's um. It's almost like, what if I split the coils? Mm -hmm. uh, right, it's going to be a little... It sounds 
good. Right. I almost wanted to like compare it. We're not going to do it, but like split the coils full wide open without that and then roll back it. Cause you're right. I, I do feel like it brings like a little single coil chime to the guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can see why a player like Josh Smith uses it. Right. Um, here's a guy that runs two amps. There was some conversation. There was a fun cut. Co- Cause I asked him at one point in that interview, I was like, so we're not going to see you with like your amp model or on stage. And he had a great, it was a great discussion because he talked about like when he might use it or where he might use it. Right, but right. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, but typically would run a tube amp on stage that are turned up loud. You know, there's a compromise. There's a great discussion in there too about the compromise between the guitar player and the sound man. You all know the battle. Um, so where was I going with that? <laughs> like, of how he uses it and how he the types of amps he uses and yeah, yeah. his style of play. Because he's kind of cranked up. Mm-hmm. Uses his volume knob. Uses Tully S guitars. Um, I think his newest guitar is made by PV. He is an Ibanez one. Too. No, it's Ibanez. Ibanez yeah. It's made by Ibanez. Mm-hmm. Um, but Tully-ish. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, 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 he would call it a Tully. <laughs> so. Uh, and then... There's a lot of people that have got Chulas because they kind of want to get that Josh Smith sound. Right, right. And so it's interesting when you think about it, it's the sound, and you hear players, you want to start a, you know, a potential thing, tone is in your fingers, right? You know, people get really upset about this. Some people are very adamant tone is in your fingers. Other people are very like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, but in some ways it really is. And so I, I see this as kind of a pedal that allows him to really, I'm getting in the weeds, but allows him to really like. It's responsive and it's dynamic. Right. To the way he's playing and right. that's what he likes. It allows him to mm-hmm. let the tone be in his fingers maybe. And don't lose the characteristic of a guitar. Right. So why might you pick up a pedal like this and not like it? Because right. so you would use it like I would try to use it. Everything right. dimed and you got this dimed and it's like, it's not bad, but. Yeah, I'm not Josh Smith or Josh Scott for that matter. And I, he talked a little bit about that. Yeah. So I think that's worth jumping back and mm-hmm. just hearing one more little bit from Josh before we end this. I just think, you know, there's, it's a pedal that guys who don't have a lot of experience with uncompressed pedals that, you know, are unforgiving as well may not understand. And guys who play through very small amps only at home, not that there's anything wrong with that, also may not understand. Because if you put this pedal into a 5-watt amp with no headroom at all, and you turn it on, it will just sound like it's not doing anything, or it'll sound bright, uh, or it'll just sound like a gain boost, you know what I mean, if you're cranking your amp. It's really dependent on your whole signal chain. That's why it works so well for me is because that's the sound I want is I use high headroom. I use very little compression. So it's in super dynamic with me. So I think the, the worry is some, I, I, not the worry, cause I know it, it does happen. Guys will buy this pedal because they're a fan and they want to get a tone similar to mine, which is so flattering. And they'll use it in one of those scenarios I just described and will not sound anything like my tone, you know? And that's because it's, it's not just my tone. It's part of the whole package that makes my tone. Yes, it's a huge chunk of it, but it's the whole thing that makes it part of my tone. Um, so you have to just be aware of that. It's definitely a pedal that fits in certain ways. And if you want to get the most out of it, you have to put it in the right light. You know what I mean? So one last time, I'd just like to throw a big thank you out to Josh Smith for mm-hmm. taking the time to do that with us. We really appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you appreciated it too. Um, and with that, I think that wraps up the Chula, but does not wrap up the love pedals that are going to appear in the series. There's at least two more that we have on hand that are going to be joining it soon. So we always like take a moment. Just thank everybody for watching. Click in the uh, subscribe button, notification bell, like button, leave in a comment down below. Anytime you interact in the show, it, uh, really helps us out, helps us keep doing this. And, uh, we appreciate that. Like to no end. Mm-hmm. We really appreciate that. So with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the beard reminding no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. You didn't say beer. I didn't say beer.
Thank you.